New neighborhoods west of the turnpike between Forest Hill Boulevard and Southern evacuated because of the fire. Andrew Lafholm continuing our live team coverage near there with perspective from people who left their homes and one person who didn't despite their neighbor's roof catching fire. Andrew. It's good news out here, John and Tanya. Most of the firefighters here have cleared out. There's actually a firehouse right behind us. Those are the only firefighters here in close proximity. And the evacuation order here for the neighborhood, Whispering Oaks, has been lifted. They are all now back in their neighborhood. But here's what they were up against earlier today. Denise Chisholm's next-door neighbor's roof was on fire late this afternoon. It was time to go. All of a sudden, there was a pounding at the door, and it was police officers that told us that we had to evacuate the house right away. She left, but her husband, Richard, stayed behind. My husband would not leave the house. She called him for us. You're on speakerphone. They asked you to evacuate, right? Yeah, I wasn't going to do. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Because the way I built the house, it stood up to about a dozen hurricanes, the screen closures didn't come down, so the way we built the house, I built the like the The fire on his neighbor's roof only caused minor damage. Other fires sparked nearby on lawns and bushes, too. There's no real devastation on anything. This woman also evacuated, but left her car behind. When I was leaving, they said I couldn't leave, and then they said I had to leave. And Firefighters say the walk order was issued after hoses had been deployed across roads. A car running it over would damage them. It's a safety factor for, for, uh, for our firefighters. And now Denise and her neighbors wait for the all clear. <laughs> it's just crazy. It's just crazy. I don't know. I just want to go back home. Now the Florida Forest Service in a tweet said that they will be back out here at first sunrise continuing to monitor the fire and any hot spots that might remain. We're live in suburban West Palm Beach. Andrew Lawfoam, WPTV News Channel 5.